Hello guys, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I will show you the easiest way how you could create a bootable USB and how to use it to install Windows 11 in your computer. To first proceed, plug your USB flash drive into your computer and open your browser. Step after opening your browser, we will go ahead and type download Windows 11. We want to access to the official website of Windows Microsoft. We will click on the first option, www.microsoft.com, and we'll click on that link, Open. The next step, we want to scroll down on the main page and go to Create Windows 11 Installation Media. This will allow us to download a small tool, which will allow us to proceed with the next step. Here you will have multiple options, so choose Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click Download. You'll be prompted to download the little tool. You can click Save As and save it in a file which you want. For me now, I will save it on a local disk and I will leave the naming by default, Media Creation Tool, as it's been called by Windows. Next step, once the download is over, click on it, open, or open the file where it's located and double click on that little tool. The Windows logo will appear for a few seconds and you will get this window which you will be prompted to. You will need to be patient a few more seconds. Here you will be prompted to the applicable notices on license terms. I invite you to read through and if you are okay with everything, then click, click accept. The next step, we want to locate our device but we'll need to wait a few seconds again until the next window prompt again. At this stage, a little window will appear. Here, it's using the recommended settings for my laptop. You can untick it and change the language if you want. You'll be only able to download Windows 11. Use the recommended, which I want for me, and click Next. Here, I will choose USB flash drive. Don't use ISO because this is a different settings. Next step, I will click click next but please make sure your device has at least 8 gigabit free space where you want to save windows 11 if it's a usb and sd or a bootable usb for now i will i will locate my my device it has the letter e which i want to set up and i will go back and select it and click next the progress will start the operation might take one minute to 15, 20, or 30 minutes, depending on how fast is your internet. Once done, we will have the installation media ready. Some people, they call it bootable device, some people, they call it bootable USB, and it might be an SD card in your case. It doesn't matter, because now what we are doing, we are downloading and setting up Windows 11 in a, in a storage device. It might be, as I said, a USB flash drive, or it might be an SD card, and which we will use later on for installing Windows 11. So for now, I will pause the video at this stage, and once the download and the setup is over, I will show you what is the next step. After several minutes, the download and setting is ready. It has been set up in my device, and it has been saved. Now, you can go ahead and click Finish, and let's proceed with the next step. At this stage, we want to verify if our device is working and if Windows 11 was set without issues. So we'll open our file, go to our storage device, and check if it has been saved correctly. So I will open it in this PC shortcut. So as you can see, the device is running properly, and I will click on the setup. And it seems there is no issues. I will just proceed with the next step just to check, and you can do it. And as you can see, it says preparing, it should show a window. And that's all what I want to see. For now, we will just close by clicking on the X, we will close this window and let's proceed with the next step. So for now, just plug your USB to your computer, turn on your computer and press F10. For some laptops, you want to check if it's F11 or F12 because it varies from computer another to access to the advanced boot menu. Once done, use the arrow to scroll down to your mouse uh, to your usb flash drive or bootable flash and hit enter and this will guide us to the next installation menu which is easy steps to follow at this stage we will start uh, installing 
So we are going to select the language to install and then the time and different and currency format and then the keyboard input and then we'll click go. Now we're going to install now and we'll need to wait a few seconds until the setup loads. Next step, if you have a product key, you can put it. If not, you can click I don't have a product key. You will be able to install anyway at this stage. Next step, we'll choose the version which we want. We have home, professional, whatever. So for me, I would choose Windows 11 professional. So I will go to Windows 11 professional and select it. So click next and you will need to wait a few seconds until it load. Here I will accept the term and license agreement. You can go through if you want and click next. Here I'm going to select custom install Windows only advanced. And I'm going to select the exact partition where I want it to be installed. If you cannot find your partition, just click on refresh and this should reload everything for you. So click refresh and then you will be able to see the exact partition. Once the partition found, you will need to select it and click next so that the installation process starts. Now, as you can see, the installation process has started. You might see that your computer will turn off and turn on again or restart several times, and this is normal when it's happening. Normally, you should see no errors and everything should pass smoothly. At this stage, Windows will be saying that working on updates, please keep your computer on. So please make sure that you all the time your computer is plugged to electricity to avoid any issues. And this process can work for laptop and for PC is the same way. Here, the installation is over. Now we start with the additional steps. It's just setting up our account. Please bear in mind that if you had already Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8 pre-installed in your computer, you will be able to see the same username. If this is the first time when you install a software in the computer and the computer has no Windows installed in it, then you will be simply be asked to enter the username and the password. And this is a simple additional step which you can do on your own. Once we are done, as you can see, now we need to go uh, and we need to wait for Windows to be over. Please bear in mind that, as I said, if you had Windows before and you are just upgrading your Windows through this installation and you kept all your files and everything, you will keep the same password and the same username. It doesn't get impacted at all. And this is one of the advantages of passing from Windows 10 to 11 or even Windows 7 to Windows 11. For now, we need just to wait and then I will take you through the other steps. As you can see, I have kept all my files and now Windows 11 is ready to be used and it can be used as I want. When I was doing the installation, I have kept all my files and everything. If you, if you decided to delete your files and to not keep anything, then everything will be removed, including the user account, etc. But if you decide to keep few things, you should be able to see them there. Now, a simple additional step, I will just go and check if my Windows is already activated. And as I can see, it's already activated. An additional step which you want also to do, you want to activate your internet, go to settings, Windows update, and click install updates now. This is very important because it allows you to install all the updates related to security and it secures your PC or your laptop further. I hope this video tutorial was useful, was useful to you guys. If you are still in need of help or assistance, you can always leave us a comment or send us an email and we will do our best to help you. 
If you'd like to encourage us, you can always press like, share, and do not forget to subscribe to get our latest videos. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.